SAP audit management includes audit planning and processing, evaluating the audit object, monitoring corrective and preventative actions, and documenting and evaluating all audit data. Audit management supports each examination, based on specified criteria, such as audit, check, inspection, revision, appraisal, site inspection, with subsequent evaluation of the object. An audit, according to DIN, EN, ISO, 9000, is a systematic, independent, and documented process used to obtain audit results and to evaluate these results objectively in order to determine to what extent the criteria of the audit have been fulfilled. If you call the audit management function from the SAP Fiori app manage audits all processing functions are available to you in one single view as in a cockpit. The clear and structured user interface is primarily divided into three screen sections. The navigation area is on the top left, the work and template list on the bottom left, and the work area on the right. The borders of these screen areas may be moved, and the navigation area and work list can be entirely hidden, so that the work area fills out the whole screen. The work list contains two sub-areas. In the upper sub-area you will find a structure tree that lists the data objects. In the lower sub-area of the work list, you will find a stack of data objects that you most recently processed. The templates also contains two sub-areas. In the upper sub-area are the general templates, in the lower sub-area, personal templates for the above-mentioned data object types. You can drag and drop items from the navigation area to fill the template list. Many functions are available in the navigation area, with which you can create new data objects, copy, change, include, cut and paste, or delete data objects. As soon as you select a data object in the navigation area, the detailed data appears in the work area on the right. By defining audit objects, you are able to analyze comparable audits and determine best practice or trends. The audit object is described by a definable group of fields. Allowed values for these fields can be entered into customizing tables as required. The audit data object is also used during the execution of the audit. For this, a question list is added to the audit. The valuation of questions is considered in this list of audit questions. The audit plan is hierarchically structured, which means that additional audit plans and audits may be assigned to a specified audit plan. It must be noted that audits represent the lowest hierarchic level. In other words, additional audits or audit plans may not be assigned to an audit. In simple cases, you can dispense with an audit plan and create unplanned audits. The process phases are based on the ISO 19011 norm. Audit management supports you in all phases of auditing, from the planning of a comprehensive audit program and of individual audits, through the definition of auditing criteria or question lists, to the actual auditing and the evaluation of all audit data in an audit report. It also supports you in defining and monitoring improvement actions. Audit management also offers effective tools for evaluating all audit data. For computer-assisted auditing, the data object types, that is components, compiled in this figure are available in audit management. Question lists serve as basis for recurrent audit questions and criteria according to which the audit object is evaluated. They have master data status. By defining hierarchy profiles for question lists, you can structure the lists according to any desired hierarchy. For audit management, there are SAP Fiori apps available in the SAP Fiori Launchpad. Using the SAP Fiori app manage underscore audit, you can access all processing functions for the audit management data objects. You can use the SAP Fiori app monitor audits to use various evaluation options.
Once the questioning is completed, the findings are fed or uploaded into the system. Then the audit object can be evaluated. A valuation profile has been assigned to each item in the question list that can be evaluated. This valuation profile controls the valuation of the relevant items, that is question or hierarchy level. Starting from the valuation of all actually evaluated audit question list items, a total evaluation for the audit is determined. To consolidate the valuations across several hierarchy levels of the question list, the degrees of fulfillment or deviation from each hierarchy level are used for calculation in the SAP standard. The total evaluation is then formed using a rating profile. In the rating profile, you determine which degrees of fulfillment must be achieved for certain ratings. You can also program your own valuation algorithms, if required, without having to modify the standard programs using a body. In the case of some audits, online operation is not possible or not desirable. In such cases, audit data, including lists of audit questions, can be exported via a standardized interface in XML format from the online system into the external system and can there be processed in Microsoft Excel, for example. Audit findings are entered in the Excel table and the completed list of audit questions is then imported back into the online system via the XML file interface. For more information about offline operation, CSAP Note 597982.